In this video, we will see how we can able to download the latest version of ID score and activate the trial license. To perform this task, we need to go to the internet and we can use any of the web browser. After we connect our PC to the internet connection, we can able to just go to the Comicron Energy web page. So this is option one from Omicron Energy web page. We can able to just go to the products, selecting the products. There are so many different products. We can able to directly search ID Scout on the top level, and then there we can able to see an ID Scout um, software application to get more information to download. Just need to select the ID Scout application. You can able to just um, click the download option in the left uh, arrow mark. You can able to see uh, down arrow, or else you can also come down to download the brochure to get the the top level information related to the uh, ID code, uh, different applications, mostly the IC six hundred and fifty client server communication, also the Goose application testing. Uh, you can also come down. Then you can able to enter your email address, company name, and the first name and last name in order to download the software application. So this is option one. So let me fill this information. And my first name is Raj. And there you can provide your email address as well. Then accepting the terms and condition, we can able to go further. So post submitting our information, we could able to reach to the, uh, the place where we can able to download the required um, software application that is compatible for our Windows operating system. In my case, I have a Windows 10 um, 64 bit operating system, so I can able to download the ID code 5.11, which is the latest version available at the moment. So I can able to just select there you can able to see the download has been started already. So depending on the internet speed that is available on your PC, um, the download will take a couple of minutes maximum. Then the other option you can able to um, go to the Omicron customer portal, which is uh, highly recommended in case if you have an access already, or if you are an Omicron um, testing equipment or tools user, you can able to easily go to the Omicron Cosmo portal from the web page itself. There is a login option in the top right by selecting the login option. There you can able to traverse to the Omicron customer portal on the page. There you can provide your email address. And your password. Then you will be able to uh, log in successfully. Post to provide your right login and login credentials. In case if you don't have an access and you are a Micron equipment user, you can able to uh, request for a registration so that you can able to gain so many uh, useful information from the Micron customer portal that's, av that's available for free. So you can able to just select the top three row in the dashboard. So there you can able to go to the software overview to get the different software application that are available. You can also find the recently released uh, software application, the different categorized options in order to make uh, use of the Omicron customer portal easier for your requirement. You can also just select uh, the
the software overview on the top right that you can able to um, reach to the different software application to manage the Omicron uh, devices um, you can also able to download the firmers for uh, different hardware uh, sets like CMC I'm just show the password here so you can able to just go down there you can also able to find uh, the ID code software application there you can able to see the latest version you can select the additional information here I can able to get more information um, like the what's new document um, what are the recent features uh, the improvements that has been added to the ID code latest version also the um, application examples so there are so many other information like technical papers uh, everything is available in the knowledge library you can able to easily filter for the relevant application to get more insights and information from the Omicron customer portal so the idea is option two is you can able to just download the ID code software application from the Omicron customer portal when you have an access already let's go to the downloads and see where we are now in the download progress state so download is almost going to complete so those who do not know what is meant by id scout so the id scout is a software application can be used for analyzing the scl files in offline and i can also able to um, uh, learn so many um, important information related to the 640 configuration that you build for your different ID um, that you have in your projects with a different configuration tool like a ID configuration tool and system configuration tool you can able to import all different type of SCL files based on 61850 part number of six so there are six different type of SCL files are supported by the standard at the moment so all of, all of uh, those six different type of SCL files can be easily imported um, into the ID code and you can able to explore the um, the ID configuration that you build uh, in the different uh, SCL files basically that are really required for um, testing related to the IOC 63 client server also the goose application testing and you can able to explore the, uh, the SCL file post import you can able to um, explore the goose uh, control block report control blocks and then you can also explore the different data sets that you configure for your different ids or different applications and you can also be able to get the insights uh, about the id data model uh, for the scl file that you import into the id code and you can able to um, move the id from the browser section to simulator section and you can able to even uh, simulate um, IDs um, in your um, PC without connecting uh, anywhere in the network in order to learn in, uh, in the top level so I will also explain you how we can able to um, simulate an ID um, without connecting uh, your PC to any other um, network so you may be having a question why I want to simulate within my PC you can able to learn so many things if you are a beginner you can able to simulate an ID from the simulator section of the ID scout uh, with a local host uh, um, IP address you can able to um, enable the um, loopback adapter you can able to use as an interface to simulate and you can able to connect uh, the simulated ID from the browser section because ID scout can be used uh, as a simulator also client so basically we have the inbuilt support for um, simulating an id parallelly we can able to connect to multiple ids so we can able to get both functionalities to learn the client server communication um, and we can able to even send control command from client and the server can able to receive it and can able to uh, have the flexibility to visualize the uh, goose control block you can able to change the parameters and you can able to visualize the setting group um, and you can able to change the 
uh, active setting group and uh, analog setting values and there are so many uh, single point control and double point control different type of um, control commands can be um, provided from the um, provision is possible from the client and the server can be, can be uh, used for um, accepting the the commands so by this way you can able to learn so many things the download is completed already so let's go to the folder and here you can able to see the the id scopes of application has been downloaded you can able to just right click and run as administrator to make sure that um, in your pc you should have uh, administrator access to get uh, the maximum benefit whenever we are installing any different software application so it's also applicable for iDiscord as well because iDiscord used to um, install the, the supporting software like NPCAP which is required uh, for network capture when we are uh, using the sniffer um, application from iDiscord it's also important uh, to capture the client server and ghost messages in the network and on the top level here you can able to see by default we enable the, the checkbox when we have the different type of SCL files so the first three SCL files are system specification SCL files the system configuration description system uh, specification description and the system exchange description so these are the different type of uh, files having the information about the, the project or the whole system and then the other three files are relevant to the IED specific files. Those are the IED capability description, instantiated IED description, and the configured IED description. So with IED code, uh, we could able to import all different type of CL files. And the checkbox which we provide here is whenever you have uh, any different type of SCL files on your PC, uh, you can able to um, directly open into the IED code software user interface. And in case if you do not want to um, open the different type of SCL files in IED code in software user interface, you can able to uncheck so that, for example, you have a Dixie um, software application installed on your PC and you created the IEC 620 station, um, then you can able to still have uh, an option to open the CD file in the 620 system configurator and tool itself. So that's an example. But you can able to enable in case if you would like to use the different type of SCL file, SCL files for the testing purpose. So and by default we install the resource files into the ID code uh, and default directory into the program files for the 64-bit app software operating system. So next we will see um, the installation. The installation starts with uh, different um, services that are required to be run on the Windows PC. Those are the OMI find and other uh, Omicron communication services required when we are using Omicron softwares in China. And the Omicron device link also installed with the latest version of Omicron ID code because the ID code license is available on different platform um, basically the cyber secure hardware platforms like mbx1 the mobile box solution so the, the rbx1 which is a rack mounted option 19 inch we can able to install the, the rbx1 permanently in the substation to perform the testing activity also the monitoring of uh, substation automation system and the mbx1 is um, the portable solution so that's why we install the omicron device link um, together with the latest um, software application to manage the the hardware we can able to use omicron device link to associate the, the test set with a static ip address or dynamic ip address based on our requirement but in case of um, pc license um, the Omicron device link also installed but we don't use it because we don't need the Omicron device link when we have the Omicron ID code PC license so you can able to see the ID code has been installed successfully we can able to just say close here this level we can able to go to the desktop so by default we create the shortcut here you can able to right click the Omicron ID code and run as administrator there we press yes 
and the software application has been opened and there you can able to see um, at the moment uh, the PC is available and the PC we have installed the IDS code by selecting the this PC option we could able to see uh, there is no license available on the PC because we just installed uh, on a fresh PC and there is an option for everyone those who wanted to use IEGS code to try or learn or to test uh, IEC 650 client server and Goose application testing and we can able to activate the, the trial version and we can able to get the full benefit of uh, the different functionality from the IEGS code software application from the PC license. So how we can able to activate the trial version so you can able to just see here click to start trial and before you perform this action you need an internet access on your PC so in my case I have uh, connected my laptop to the to the Wi-Fi uh, or you can also use the uh, mobile hotspot um, or, the, or the USB tethering whatever comfortable for you and it's also important to disable the firewall in case if you are using the office PC so that it uses uh, the dedicated port to communicate with the uh, Omicron uh, license server so that we monitor who activate the trial license and we register the piece information so you can able to just in case if you have a license already you can able to paste the license when you are purchasing it and otherwise if you want to only um, try for 30 days and then you can able to go for click to start trial so here you can able to get the pop-up here and it also says the internet connection is required on the PC then you can able to just say yes on this level and you should be able to see a discord is installed on the PC so we can able to see the PC here you can able to just select the, this PC and here you can able to see the trial version has been activated uh, so this is how we can able to uh, see You can able to just say continue trial. So before you could able to see there was a um, there was message in your case if you are installing the IDS code for the very first time. You could able to see the NP cap OEM um, supporting software also parallel install while installing the IDS code software application. This is required uh, for the uh, Windows PC when we are uh, using IDS code. Um, sniffer tool to capture the the traffic so it's also um, quite um, supporting software so that we could able to get support from the NP cap um, libraries which is um, compatible for the latest windows operating system including the windows 10 and windows 11 and it also um, provide you an option where you can able to flexibly choose in case if you would like to monitor the, the different type of traffics for loopback also the Wi-Fi adapters and in a normal case you don't need uh, the extra option so you can able to just go with the default selection and it works fine if you are advanced user you can able to enable all three, three different type of options uh, without any problem you can able to activate the uh, discord license by having an internet connection on your PC so that's all um, on this video in case if you face any problem you can always feel free to contact omicron technical support and we will be happy to support you in case if you find any problem or face any issues you can able to raise a request to the omicron technical support email address and we will be happy to support you on this case thank you take care bye bye